Okay, so I bought a USB 3.0 hub with seven ports, a TP-Link USB 3.0 hub. And uh, I will use this for my free NAS because uh, it crashes a lot because all my external hard drives I use for my free NAS doesn't get the power it needs. So this hub will eventually make my external hard drives get the power they need so the free NAS server can work a lot better. So let's unbox this hub. It should uh, have enough power to power my external hard drives, hopefully. So first we unbox this USB hub. Here we have some uh, instructions. And here we have the USB hub itself. Here we have some more instructions. And here we have a power plug. To power the hub with enough power for my external hard drives. Nice. That will be great. And what's more in the box? A cable to connect this hub to a computer, for example. And I have an old laptop that I use for free NAS as a NAS server, a free NAS server. So this cable will be connected into the laptop itself and as you can see it's a special connector in this end to be connected into the hub. I don't like the different standards on that. I have seen that on external hard drives too and I don't like that. Why not use real standard like USB-C for example. That would be much better. But uh, now I have the cable I need. As long as this cable works, the hub will eventually work, hopefully. So the cable is a USB 3.0 and a special connector in this end. So now we have power and the cable needed to connect this into the free NAS. And now let's see the hub itself. Very basic packaging, a, a bit better than cheap packaging though. Very light USB hub, very very light. Hmm. An instruction to power the hub up on the front and here is the bottom of the hub and here we have the seven porch as you can see seven porch to connect all your gear in this case I will use it only for external hard drives and here we have uh, micro b connector i think that's i think that's this one and here we have the power connector and in this end we have two charging ports for your other gears like iphones smartphones and so on but I will use these ones for my external hard drives. Let's remove this plastic at the top of it. Like that. Nice. 
plastic and very light but uh, it looks nice you can see the text there USB 3.0 7 port hub with two charging ports so this will be in my free NAS later on okay that was the unboxing okay so now i've logged into my freena server so now i will uh, shut the server down uh, i have samsung dex here as you can see and uh, samsung dex is excellent for uh, desktop use so now i will shut this free NAS server down so I can uh, connect the USB hub in, into my external hard drives instead of the very bad USB hub I have now so I choose shut down and here we need to confirm and then shut down again like so now the system shuts down as you can see so soon when it's shutting down completely i will disconnect the hard drives and connect the new usb hub into it so i will do that now we will soon see a new hub connected so here we have the old bad USB hub it's a USB 3.0 hub but it has not enough power to charge my hard drives my external hard drives so I will disconnect this now and then connect the new one so now I have replaced the USB hub for the new one from TP link so here, here we have it we have connected the power we have connected a USB B connector to the laptop the laptop is my free NAS server so here we have them connected and we have the power and so on connected and all the hard drives connected so now we should power the system up again and see if everything works as it should now we power the laptop the Acer laptop up so it can load my free NAS so now it's starting the free NAS server now it finds all the disks and now we have the boot menu the free NAS boot menu and now it boots the system hopefully without errors and so on hopefully the hub can make all the external drives have all the power it needs hopefully as you can see it takes a while to boot the free NAS but I really love the free NAS system because it's so stable <laughs> except for my problems with the external drives without power and so on but uh, the complete system is so stable i really love free nas for that and it works all day and all day out with the the plex server installed on free nas and my smb shares ftp servers and apple shares and everything so the free NAS service is something i can highly recommend using if you have an old computer of some kind because then you can have uh, a, a sort of raid system with external hard drives that I use you don't need to have internal hard drives for free NAS to work so this works excellent actually so now we have booted the system without some errors that sounds great so let's see in the web UI now if the free NAS server is up and running so now we have the server up and running and as you can see it looks good i know we have an uh, alert here but i know what that is as you can see the have some bad block on the ssd in this uh, laptop 
but uh, I use uh, two boot drives so this is not a problem for me because if the, the, the this boot drive will fail eventually I have the other drive in the laptop running the operating system so this is not a problem for me so the server is up and running and as we can see here the drives as you can see we have 51% used and uh, almost 4 terabyte of free of free um, storage so it looks like this server is up and running without errors I really love this so it looks like the Freena server will work a lot better now it looks like that and we can see some plugins here uh, we have the Plex plugin installed and it's up and running as you can see really nice so I love this so that's about it I hope you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel okay bye